in a world exclusive premiere with never before seen footage. I unveil the PlayStation 5 and most of the details that comes with it. Okay, well maybe not all of them and maybe I'm not the first. It's been all over the internet for a couple of hours. I was trying to make the intro sound good, so stay tuned. And we're gonna check out some of the information right now. So, the PS5 has been officially announced, slated for holiday of 2020, as per the uh, website Wired, which I think is the official website that uh, the people at Sony or whatever spoke to and gave the information to. I'll have a link in the description to that as well as IGN's article if you want to read that on your own. They've also revealed that the console's controller will feature two new key innovations, haptic feedback replacing the traditional rumble and adaptive triggers. It'll also feature USB-C charging, a higher capacity battery, and it's going to be a little heavier than its predecessor, but still lighter than an Xbox One controller with batteries inside. And Batman would like to share with you quickly as to why that is that the Xbox controller still needs to be heavier. It's because you Xbox players are weak and you need the extra weight to build some upper body strength, which we've already done in the past, which is why we could drop it down to a lower weight. I'm just kidding. Calm down, nerds. Wired got more detail from uh, system architect Mark Cerny. Haptic feedback will come through highly programmable voice call actuators located in the left and right grips of the controller, which offer more tactile responses than the DualShock 4's rumble motors currently can. Along with an improved speaker, Wired reports that a modified version of Astrobot Rescue Mission offers realistic feelings for the surfaces the player character runs across, whether it's soggy mud, bouncy wooden bridges, being communicated through the feeling of the controller. So basically, if you're driving on asphalt or grass, or if you're like pulling on a bowstring or you're shooting a gun, that haptic feedback is going to react and feel differently according to what's going on in the game. Um, because it was too tight. Yeah, so the adaptive triggers can also be pro blah, blah, programmed by developers to offer different levels of resistance, like I was just mentioning with the higher tension for, uh, you know, pulling a bowstring or whatever. The PS5 will also use 100 gig optical discs and an optical drive that also plays 4K Blu-rays. Game installation from discs will be mandatory because of the difference in speed between the console solid state drive and the disc drive speed, obviously. However, installations will now be more customizable with Cerny saying players could now choose to install, let's say, just a multiplayer mode or maybe just a campaign portion of the game. And then once you've finished it, if you want, like the campaign mode, you can just go ahead and zap it and get it off your system to free up space for other games, which leads me to my next question, which has still not been answered. Is it just going to be the SSD that's inside this PS5? Is there going to be USB uh, support like we have right now on the PS4? Uh, is there going to be another internal hard drive like uses, you know, the standard hard drive so that we can offload games onto there and maybe every time you go to load up your top 10 favorite games or whatever, they'll go on the SSD? Because how's that going to work? I still don't know if the games are going to be SSD required. In other words, being forced to need that extra speed in order to... Uh, you know, use up all that power. I still don't have the answer to that, and I don't think anybody does except for Sony. The console's home screen will also apparently allow more flexibility for how players enter games. Players will seemingly be able to boot up a game straight into a multiplayer activity or a specific single-player mission, even being told what rewards they'll get in-game for doing so. Wired also confirms that the PS5 dev kit does, in fact, look similar to the design we reported in August, but Sony won't talk about what the consumer version will look like. Dev kits often look wildly different to the release version of a console, but Marco Thrush of Bluepoint Games explains that the console is getting back to the instant loading of old cartridge games and reconfirms that his studio is working on a big new game after the studio's remake of Shadow of the Colossus. Certain questions are still unanswered, including what the console's UI actually looks like, if the controller will have a microphone, or how big the SSD will be. Right, which is what I was just talking about in terms of the size of the SSD. I can't see it being uh, like a monstrous one. Could it maybe be 500 gigs or a terabyte uh, SSD? I could maybe see that. But that still begs the million dollar question, like I said, as to 
where are the rest of the games going to go? Like right now, I on a PS4 Pro can only put a two terabyte internal um, laptop sized hard drive. Obviously, if I want like a four terabyte one, I would have to put an SSD in there, which is just too much money. So I have a four terabyte pocket giving me six terabytes in total. And I've been able to get away with that. And I've also had to delete a bunch of games. Uh, and that's with PS4 games, you know, between 30 to 70, sometimes rarely 100 gigs. But now with the PS5 going forward, like I said, it's going to be big, big, big sized games. Just how is that going to work? Again, I don't know. When we get more information and it gets revealed to us what all those extra details are, which is what I'm actually the most excited to find out, just how that's going to work for other games. How are we going to hold 10, 20, 30 games on our PS5? Obviously, I'll end up making a video on that when I get the information on that. So anyhow, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And that'll be what'll happen. But if you survive that, and on the way down, you want to tap that subscribe button, that would be uh, great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.